I love you. Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to carry on in the series of our chicken coop build. Today we're going to put in the water recuperation system uh, with the zinc guttering, the dam pipe and the, uh, the water barrel. Um, after that we will then get on and do the uh, auto water feeder for the chickens. So let's get on with it. So here are all the parts. So we have the dam pipe, the gutter, the T piece, a couple of 90 degrees, the hangers for the gutter, a few tools, some zinc paste for the joints of the gutter and then I'm going to raise the, uh, the water barrel up so it's going to be above the auto feeder pipe so gravity fed water to the, uh, the small um, auto little dibbers that the chickens will uh, drink at. So I'm just marking out the three hanger positions. I've got four, but I think three will be enough for this. They just won't leave me alone. Every time I do something, we've only had them probably eight days now, and they're just constantly trying to get with us. Every time we walk into the, uh, the little garden here, they rush to us. We can't do any work without them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah? What's that? It's just so inquisitive. It's the first um, chickens we've had, uh, so uh, we're, st we're still learning. What are you doing? So I just cut out, notched out the corner of uh, an existing tile a slab we had, um, cleaned it off with a pressure washer and uh, it's looking brand new. So that's the platform. There. Use the whole saw to sort of line it up a little bit and make a score. Got a small pilot hole. Change over for the hole saw. Now I'm going to um, run this hole saw backwards because uh, it's through plastic. If I go the other way it's just too, uh, too aggressive and it will uh, rip up all the edges. Perfect. There we go. So a little tiny bit of dam pipe.
just putting a bit of zinc sealant just around the edges I don't think it's actually needed because they clip in quite tight but just for to use it as glue really so on goes the uh, it's not brilliantly square because Julie had it cut at the uh, builders merchants because we couldn't get the four meters into the van so uh, we got one meter fifty cut just a little tap take off the excess So I have a, uh, a valve here. Um, this little tub here is an um, actual food tub. It is not supposed to be for water, but we thought it was a nice size and color. Julie liked the color. So I'm just gonna fit this valve into this tub. Um, it's a 26 mil hole. I've got a step drill for that. Um, I'm gonna do that now. So I just dried fitted the part that is actually going on the inside. I uh, drilled a just slightly over 32 millimeter hole into the interior. So that will run just below the front door of the house. Comes across, comes out of the house and into a T. Now this section here will drop down, go underneath and then drop down again to some outdoor feeders just here. So it's a bit cramped in here, but that's the other end of the hole there. So I'm just gonna squeeze him in there. And that's basically where the pipe is gonna run. So back in the workshop, um, we've got all the little uh, drinks feeders for the chickens. They came through, just ordered them off um, Amazon, I think. Yep, I'll put the link in the description for them, but uh, they're everywhere. So um, these are the little ones that just clip off. Um, you can take the little nipple off here to clean them. So, uh, so these will now install into my PVC uh, water pipe 32 mil um, water pipe um, it's a 10 millimeter thread on the end of the, uh, the nipple so I'm going to drill a pilot hole in the pipe tap out the hole with a small tap and then uh, put them in with a little bit of sealant thread sealant well, I'm going to try it anyway um, and then uh, we'll start putting the pipes together
I'm just going to uh, try one first before the sealant. Looks like it's going in fine. I haven't got a lot left, but it should be enough. There is a little uh, rubber washer just here as well, so that should press up, up against the PVC. This is just a little bit of extra. So that's all three on now, so I'm just going to try the little cups. So that's the idea. So that will sit underneath the chicken coop for the exterior uh, water feeders. And there'll be the one interior, uh, I'll probably just have one or two in there for the nighttime feeders, the internal ones. So I'm just going to get on with uh, fitting the pipes now to the coop. All right, Julie's just quickly cleaning out the uh, the coop before I climb in there to do the internal pipe. You made a mess of their water. Yeah. Stinkers. That's one of the main reasons because the uh, all the the uh, the wood chips and everything go straight into the water. But whenever we work around here, they're Cut. constantly with us. Ooh, let's have a look. Hello, chicken girl. pretty solid. Right, that's all the external uh, glued in. I'm sure I could have made it a lot simpler, but uh, trying to get this water butt as tight as possible to the coop, and then as close as possible to the pipe, um, it was quite difficult. Also trying to have a, a valve on it. So uh, here's the gutter. Now the only thing I've got to do with the gutter is put a small strainer in the top. So the water comes down, down the roof, into the gutter, into the uh, the blue uh, barrel, through this pipe here, down, it tees off into the inside of the coop, coming along here, and I'll show you that now, and down into three automatic feeders here. And the chickens have already tried to take it as well, so uh, I'll get the water in that in a minute. Let's go and do the inside. Right, here's the inside. Now I've just got to, to glue the end of this pipe. This is a one-time deal, so let's get this in. So there we go. So we've got the little feeder and a little... Uh, oh, God, all the time. It's just ridiculous. Come on, there you go. Come on, I'm put. There we go. Right, so crack open the valve. So they work okay, and the one inside works okay, except. Another little mini project we had to do was put in this small wooden barrier across the front of the compost heap because uh, as you can see they were pulling it out and pulling it out so we, we don't want to make a mess of all our garden I know it's going to be a bit more messy with the amount of poop and things but uh, they were dragging it out from underneath the hedge all the way over here so uh, I've just lined the compost heap with uh, some concrete uh, slabs put the wood across the front they're quite happy hopping over and it stops them uh, kicking all of the muck and everything else onto the grass. So that's it for another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, all the water's done, the uh, automatic door is done. So I think everything on the chicken coop now is finished. So um, please press subscribe, click the thumbs up 
and there's a little bell click for click that and you'll get uh, notifications when we're putting out the next video so uh, lots more to come on the homestead and also soon the container house build so we'll see you in the next video bye for now